Good morning, class. For today's read aloud, I thought I would read The Good Egg. It's by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things, like I'll carry your groceries. I'll water your plants. I'll change your tires. I'll paint your house. Look at that colorful house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days back at the store. See the chickens laying the egg? And the little market? The red truck says fresh eggs. There were dozens of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell, and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. See all the eggs with him in his carton of eggs? There were 11 other eggs. Ooh, sorry. The 11 other eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. And they broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Do you see him trying to clean up all their messes? Nobody seemed to care though. Every night, I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. <sighs> Look at him. He is not looking so good. Trying to keep control and help these guys make good choices. What? Is that egg washing himself with a toothbrush in the toilet? Gross. Then, one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up. Literally, something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. So the good egg was spending so much time trying to tell other people what to do, trying to help them make good choices that it was hurting him, and he wasn't having any fun, was he? I wandered from town to town. The hours became days. The days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Look, he's grown a little egg beard. Out there on the road, under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I 
took walks. I read books. I floated in the river. That looks relaxing with the pink flamingo. I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. Is he doing his meditation like we do? I breathed in. I breathed out that bubble bath. I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. He's at a little spa. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. So he stopped worrying about all the choices other people were making, and he focused on making good choices himself. I started to feel like myself again. Look at him meditating. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time, I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Here we go. Look at him walking back into the market. Everybody missed me, and I missed them too. I have a sign that says, Welcome home. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, oh, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. Sure. Every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad. But it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect. And I don't have to be either. I'm okay with that. Yup. The old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. And there's the fly pages. It's all sorts of breakfast foods, isn't it? Donuts and waffles. This is Grimm's two favorite. A croissant, eggs, toast, a muffin, more donuts. I don't know what these are. Maybe they're blueberries. 